TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Friday, Friday the 6th of September. We're looking at the Dow down 54, actually down 63 at 32,056. It made a lower low today, just keeps making low lows and mostly lower highs. But today is going to be really important. It's trading. Uh, this is the 6th and it's trading with a low of 32.846. Now it is trading at 33.056. The day is young. But there are buyers coming into attempt. You see the little cluster formation of these three candles. I don't want to go through the whole thing with the Chapman Roman candle making a lower low. And what happens if we close above yesterday's high? But it's going to be important watching this play out through the day. That the, the weekly charts say, hey, there's a lot of work to be done. Sell signal. I'll probably have to upgrade to sell mode by today's close. Um, and now we go to the S&P. The S&P is trading at... Uh, down 576 at 4,252. It's holding much better. Didn't take out the left side low four days ago. That's kind of important. It's trying to form a, some kind of a base, but it's got that 200 period moving average to pierce. It needs to get to the 4280 level uh, and higher by Monday. Looking at the QQQ, this is holding uh, also pretty nicely. It didn't get even close to the low of 351.36 made two weeks ago, trading at 359.40, up 67 cents, which is not bad when you think about what happened today with the, with the payroll report. And the weekly chart is still pretty good. I don't even think I've got a sell. I have to wait for the close to a sell signal there. Looking at the IWM, that is a sell mode in the weekly chart. Um, not a good sign at all. And it's trading up down 56 at 170. This is going to be important. Can gold turn around today? And so that's yeah, up $6 now. This long candle is going to be important because if it manages some, the stochastic's terrible at 3.3%. It says any bounce will probably have to do a retest over the coming two weeks. But it's trying desperately to bounce. And we'll see if it's able to do that by the end of the day. The dollar is not yet um, doing anything other than uh, it's pulled back from the high of the day. It's up nine cents at 106.43. And this says to me, watch the dollar closely because it's it's kind of toppy on a visual basis, but the technicals are still pretty darn strong. So I'm not going to fight that at this particular point. And the TLT, which is bonds, uh, has to see some kind of a turnaround here. Yep, it's at the high of the day, but it's still down at dollar eleven. Now look at this. The crude oil. Crude oil is. Uh, now unchanged at 82.32. We'll talk about that uh, when I get back. I'll be doing the hour of Larry, Larry Pizzaventa's hour. This program coming up is Steve Rhodes, recorded at 8 a.m. this morning. And stay tuned. Check out my opening call daily newsletter, and I'll see you in about two hours' time.